are in Central Park, New York City. I'm here with my good buddy, Joe Greer. If you've watched either of our YouTube channels, you might know we tend to just stick with the basic film stock Portra 400. So I thought it'd be fun for me and Joe to come out here to Central Park and try out some of the cheaper films for 35 millimeter that you can buy. We have Kodak Gold and Kodak Color Plus. Two of the cheaper films that Kodak makes, I believe these each go for about three bucks, which is like half the price of Portra. So we're gonna see if these film stocks are any good. Are they worth shooting? Is it worth saving your money? Or should you just buy Portra? So Joe is shooting with his Leica M6 and I have my Canon A1. Do you feel like the images will be similar? Uh, I think it's gonna be you know, pretty similar, obviously, but I think the biggest thing is that we're shooting on two different focal lengths. So you're on a 50, uh, f1.8, I am on a 35 and a 28, I'm switching between the two, so. Shot, uh, I've never done zone focusing at 100 ISO, uh, but a lot of the greats did it when they were shooting Kodachrome 64, that's 64 ISO. These are probably going to be all trash, but we'll see what happens. Joe's been out here crushing the street photography. He's down the first whole roll almost. This was not even the plan. We're just on the way. Yeah, man. I cannot believe that this is your first time in Central Park. Oh, so good. Being here in the park, shooting at uh, ISO 100, it makes more sense for me to have a lens that can go down to 1.4. So this is a 35 1.4 Voigtlander, um, which I normally shoot 28, but I think the 35s would look real nice in here. Gotta bring Joe up to this rock in Central Park. He says he's never been up there. I don't know. He's been joking with me all day, so I don't know what the truth is anymore. But um, yeah, gonna show him the view. If you ever do come to Central Park, this is the best spot. It's the rock up here. I told you, man. Dude, I'm at like three photos. This video is just gonna be called Joe shoots with his camera. No, no. All your three photos is better than all 33 of mine. Yeah, probably. I don't true. want to even hear it. I thought me and Joe would both come on here and share some of our thoughts on the films after we've actually seen the photos, because it's one thing to shoot these film stocks, but we can't say much about them without knowing what they look like. So I'm gonna leave it to Joe and I'll share my thoughts with you in a second. How's it going y'all? Joe Greer here. Uh, Willem, thanks again for having me on uh, the channel. It was fun to walk around that day and uh, make some photos on a film stock that uh, I have not used in probably two, three years. Uh, so it was really exciting to jump back on and uh, 
play around with some of this uh, budget film stock. Uh, I love Portra and that's kind of like my go-to film stock. So uh, to shoot a film stock with this type of coloring uh, for this type of uh, price was pretty exciting. Specifically for my work, I gravitate more towards the warmer tones. I know Portra isn't really uh, known for that. So I just kind of correct that or take my edits that direction in post. Uh, so when I got the film back of those two rolls and, and saw how warm they were naturally just within uh, the film stock, I was, I was blown away. I think these film stocks really worked well with the time of day and the type of uh, weather conditions that we had that day when we were shooting. Walking Fifth Ave in the beginning and then kind of bleeding into Central Park, getting that uh, the last few hours of the day. I think my favorite shot of the day by far has to be the one with the branch uh, that is just hovering over the pond and the light rushing through the side of the frame. Other than when I was blasting Willem's mug with this tasty Kodak Gold 200. So I highly recommend this film stock. I mean, it's obviously something that I'm gonna be getting my hands on and storing in my fridge uh, for situations like this or to continue to kind of experiment with such a, a warmer film stock. So again, Willem, thanks for having me. It was just a fun, day to dink around, be idiots, and shoot some photos. I'm still finishing up my roll of color plus. I've got a couple frames left. Joe's on to the gold. The light is getting beautiful oh, right now. Real nice. It's getting so good. Super beautiful. 35 boys, film bros. Film bros all day. What's going on? This is Willem. I definitely have to agree with a lot of what Joe said. I love the saturated golden look of these pictures. That's something that I generally also edit for is a little bit warmer looking photos and this naturally has that look. They have that nice classic 35 millimeter look. So considering these stocks are half the price of portrait each, I definitely think that there's a place for both of these. The colors are awesome and for half the price, it really is a super good value, especially if you're getting into film photography and you're doing a lot more experimenting and figuring things out, these two stocks might be a great option to start off with and play around with. At the same time, I feel like I almost would prefer this kind of film in point and shoot cameras for day-to-day -day pictures. It just has a little bit more warmth and color. I think if I had to pick a favorite photo of the day, it's probably the odd one out on the roll that I shot. It's this photo of a woman that I snapped as we were walking by. It has that nice summer feel. And yeah, big shout out to Color Plus for the colors on this because this is what I'm trying to go for in a lot more of my photos. If you're wondering why we're shooting all these trees right now, it's because it's the last couple days of fall. The leaves are super nice. It's gonna get super cold and snowy here soon. So we're trying to take advantage of these last couple nice days. It's so nice. Peace. If anybody knows what this is, I think arguably it's one of the best chocolate chip cookie or cookie experiences in all of New York. The man Willem here, I can't believe it, this is a hot take, but Willem is an oatmeal raisin cooking kind of guy, which is extremely unfortunate. That all looks the raisins, like mine. Those are raisins all up in that, bro. Mmm! Nice. Thank you, Joe. Mmm. Oh! So it's been a couple days now since I filmed that video with Joe and that was a ton of fun. I just wanted to come up here and wrap up the video by saying that I finally have some prints that are for sale on my website. I know there's a lot of people who've been asking me to make some prints and I think I finally have 
Three images that I'm really happy to print and put up on my website. They're three 35 millimeter photos that I think work really nicely as a set or as standalone prints. They're eight by tens and I try to keep them relatively affordable in terms of what print prices tend to go for. This kind of thing is by far the best way to support the channel. So regardless of whether or not you pick one up, I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching the video. Make sure you also go subscribe to Joe's YouTube channel because he's putting out some awesome videos on there and our Instagrams will be in the description. That's it for now. Peace.